It was a rare moment, something that doesn't normally happen in the Security Council. But how will these pictures of the special envoy Stefan Di Mistura at the end of four and a half years in the job going around the Security Council table shaking the hands of ambassadors be viewed by the people of Syria? They have nothing to celebrate. UN diplomacy has been a failure. The only people who can celebrate victory are those who've led a brutal military campaign, Russia and its Syrian allies. Over the last year, Russia has also dominated international diplomacy on Syria. With Iran and Turkey, in January, it called for a new constitutional committee to be set up. But it then allowed Mr. Dimastura's efforts to form that committee to be undermined by constant quibbling by the Assad government over the names of the members. This week, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov travelled to Geneva with 17 new names for the committee, names the UN couldn't accept as they would have given the committee a pro-regime bias. I'm told this led to an angry phone call between Mr Lavrov and the UN Secretary General. Despite all this, as ever, in the Security Council, Mr Di Mistura put a positive spin on things. So, let me be frank. I know we always look at the glass, how full, of empty. There has been and there is real progress. We nearly have a list. The rules of procedure become a little bit clearer, but we need to go that extra mile. Remarkably, Mr. Di Mistura made no mention of the most significant recent Syria development, the withdrawal of US troops, something that further strengthens the position of the Syrian government and of Russia in the ongoing diplomacy. The US Special Envoy for Syria, James Jeffrey, was supposed to be in New York for this meeting. He cancelled his trip, presumably because part of his policy has now been dismantled by the president. The UN, US allies, even members of the US administration still reeling after President Trump's decision. James Bayes, Al Jazeera at the United Nations.